Got Georgia on my mind, y'all. You know, when the state went blue in 2020, the left was overjoyed, myself included. But I think like a lot of native Southerners in that group, there was also a part of my brain going, let's see how this plays out. I'm very excited about this step forward. I'm also worried about the prospect of two steps back because historically, that's kind of how we've gotten down. And now the two steps back have arrived in the form of voter suppression and other archaic state laws, but also now in the emerging dominance of Herschel Walker in the state Senate campaign. Herschel Walker is one of the greatest athletes of all time. He is also a pathological liar with a history of abusing women and exaggerating the success of his mostly failed business enterprises. So naturally, Donald Trump met him and said, this guy's got it all. And he's been backing him ever since. He has no political experience. If you asked him about his track record, he'd probably start quoting his shot put numbers to you. He also has been diagnosed with disassociative identity disorder. He's had multiple alter personalities, some of which have exhibited violent outbursts against himself and others. So next time you're watching Moon Knight, imagine instead of a highly trained mercenary who's an avatar for the Egyptian god of the moon, instead, it's a 60-year-old science denier with CTE who's an avatar for the president who tried to unravel our democracy, or as the GOP calls it, an ideal candidate. He's absolutely cruising in the polls despite skipping all of the debates, presumably because the debate is the part where you say words and they find out how much stuff you know, areas in which Walker doesn't really excel, but it doesn't matter. None of it matters because this is Georgia and he's the greatest bulldog of all time. If you're not from the South, you may not understand the religious level of devotion to college football, but it's very much a thing. A version of this already played out in Alabama. They elected Doug Jones to the Senate. The rest of the country was like, look at that. Maybe things are turning around in Alabama. Then Alabama was like, no, no. We just didn't know you could vote for a football coach yet. That's all that was. And they've since replaced Jones with uh, Tommy Tuberville up there approaching the Senate like he did the SEC, just sitting in budget committee meetings saying shit like, all right, so hypothetically, let's say that uh, inflation is like a West Coast offense, Okay. Not a great look, but just how we are. I'm from Tennessee. Peyton Manning held a press conference tonight where he said he'd like to be named lifelong king of the state. He'd be coronated tomorrow, baby, which is wild because we don't have one of those. And he lived in Knoxville for four years as a teenager almost three decades ago. So unless the Georgia Democrats can convince Ugga the Bulldog to endorse Raphael Warnock, I'm not feeling great about this one. Okay, pretty worried about the future and also am preparing myself for immense disappointment, but am resolved to persist in spite of all that, or as any liberal Southerner would call it, business as usual. Love y'all. Uh, YouTube, what's up everybody? Uh, Jeep's in the shop, what are you gonna do? Had to do a different thing today. Putting some of these squares and circles up around my head, got another video for you. There's also the circle to click and subscribe to this channel, which I would appreciate, do these all the time, baby. And the other uh, circle will take you to the website where you can get some tickets to see me live. Yeah, come see me live. Get a whole thing in. Why not? Love to see y'all out there on the road. I appreciate you being here. Love you like chicken. I'll see you next time.